Hello, what's up and what's happening? We are back with some more Oakland Raiders franchise. Today we're going to be taking on the Chargers. The Chargers right now in the last place of the AFC West, but it's still very, very early. It's only week number three, baby. The Broncos, they beat us last week. They are 2-0. The Chiefs are also 2-0. There we go at 1-1. The Bengals are also 1-1. The Steelers, Patriots, Jets, Chargers, Colts are also 1-1. Then you got the Jaguars, Dolphins, and Browns all at 0 and two we are the home team today looking to bounce back after that loss versus those denver broncos michael bennett went crazy we got to get this run defense right and we have to help our defense out by not turning the ball over so we're gonna go to a more conservative offense with the run balance playbook and on defense we're gonna adjust to the four six if it worked for the 85 bears hopefully it can work for us lt He's a monster. We need to put him in handcuffs. That's the only way that we can do it. Got to move the ball consistently, but more importantly, we cannot turn the ball over and give the Chargers a short field. So let's get right to the action. Lawton from inside his own five up to the 15, up to the 20-yard line. And that's what we're going to start the action off on offense. Dropping back his goals to go and drop it off to Steven Jackson. Makes the catch. And just like that, we're a few yards away from the 50-yard line. Play fake now. Ghost it. Slides right. Throws it up top. Caught by Eubanks. And this is a perfect start to the game. Third down and six. Looking downfield. Had David Boston wide open underneath. Took the deep shot to Jolly. And that did not work. So send out Janikowski. Kick is up. And the kick is good. But now it's time to see what we can do versus the Danny and Thomas. And they come out in 11 personnel. They run the ball right behind that big old line. And we're there for the takedown gain of just three. They give it to him again. And our rookie, Lionel Martin, gets a bender for the TFL. Third down and eight. Rivers going to drop back the pass. And Felipe throws it to the helmet of Charles Woodson. Bats that thing away. And we take back over. Up by three. Second down and seven. Going to find Eubanks. He makes the catch just shy of the first down. So third down and short two. Going to find a D lineman. He batted that thing away like he was J.J. Swat. Rivers going to take a shot deep. And Rivers going to connect the dots to Tim Dwight. Big time pass play there. Second down and seven, though. And as of right now, LT is in a snuggie. Rivers going to slide right, though. A little screen pass to LT. Even the passing game won't get to him. Or get him going, I should say. Hayes with the stop there. Another rookie coming through when we need him, too. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And now we got Lawton on the kick return. Nice kick return right there up to the 25-yard line. Going to look for Jerry Porter. He makes the catch up to the 40. Just shy of the 45. Now it's third down and 19, though. Got to make something happen. Going to throw it deep to Eubanks, and the Chargers defense gets the stop. So 3-3, three, three, they take over. Man in motion. They run the ball with LT again, and Smith gets in there for the stop. Second down and three. This defense looking mean and ticked off to end the first quarter. So third down and 15 now. Play fake. Rivers. Has it. Rivers throws it. That pass caught by Dyson. Brought down by Phillip Buchanan. And we take over. Going to run the ball with Steven Jackson. And Jackson going to pick up a yard. So we're 0 for 3 on third down. Both teams are basically 0 for 3 on third down. So we want to change that right here, right now. Golston throws it. And we might have got away with one. But with this accuracy, miracles can happen as we find Eubanks for a first down. Looking downfield for Eubanks again. And that's going to result in another chain mover. So our offense is looking quite good. The Chargers right now have zero yards rushing. You did not expect that. Neither did I. We're going to go backwards, though, because our quarterback has 37 overall speed, and I tend to hold on to the ball a little bit too long. Looking for Doug Jolly. That pass right on the money. And we get back to the original line of scrimmage with a gain of 14. Now we're looking downfield. Going to drop it off to David Boston, and that should make the field goal attempt just that much easier for Janikowski. 85 power, 85 accuracy on that try, and it's right through the upright. So we're up by six. Toss play. Thomason gets away from Gibson, gets away from Woodson. But it's a team game, baby. You got to get away from everybody. He doesn't do it, so we take over via the three and out. Third down, four yards to go for the Raiders' offense, making some adjustments. Then look for Eubanks in the flat. He's on the linebacker. I'm going to take that all day. That's barbecue chicken as we get up to the 50-yard line. Now it's third down and one. Give it to Jackson, some bully ball. And we're looking like the more physical team today. First down and 10. Give it to Jackson one more time. Good blocking, good running. And we have it up close to the first down marker. Third down and short. Going to throw it to left side. Caught by David Boston. Everybody is getting involved. Everybody eats B. And then Goldston can do this. His accuracy 
is absolutely outstanding. Even when he throws it on the run, he can throw pinpoint accuracy passes to just carve up your defense. He's surgical with that thing. 13-3 is the score as we head to the second half of play. They get the football first, but it's more the same. LT doing not a darn thing. They're 0 for 4 on third down, have 4 yards rushing, 78 yards total. Third down and 7 now. They come out in the gun. Rivers going to give the ball to good speed. Give it to your fullback, but maybe not on third down. Third down and 17 here. Looking for David Boston. He gets chopped down as the football gets there. So we got to punt this one away. Leckler, the Texas A&M Aggie, going to send that thing deep to, hey, yo, you got to hang on to the ball, Petey. We're going to recover the fumble, and we're inside enemy territory just like that. Third down and 10. We're going to find Porter. Picks up the first down. And the drive shall continue. So can protect this 10-point lead by adding to it. Looking now, Phil for Jackson. Makes the catch out of the backfield. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. LT, that's his best run of the game. It's going to get him nine yards. But now it's going to be third down and seven. Felipe from the gun. He throws it over the middle. And that should have been an interception. But would take the incompletion. Now we're looking now, field And that, yo, that Chargers defense are not going to give up. Nice play there. They get the sack. Third down and long. Dropping way back. Going to try to just drop it off underneath the coverage. But that pass is off the mark. So the Chargers take back over. They're going to give it to their fullback. I respect it. But that's a loss of one. Rivers under pressure. Jamal Williams. He gets the pass rush going. And now third down and 11. Rivers throws it over the middle. And that pass broken up by Lionel Martin's back. As we head to the fourth quarter of play. So 20 to 3 is the score. It's time to milk this clock and get about here with the big time win. We run the ball with Jackson. That's going to be a gain of eight. Second down, two yards to go. Coming out with 22 personnel, two backs, two tight ends. And we're going to run it to the left side. Follow Zach Crockett, your fullback to glory. Give it to Kelly. James Kelly, the rookie from Texas A&M, is going to go nowhere. Just a gain of two. Give it to him here, though. Good blocking. And with that 91 overall speed, he's able to get across that yellow line for a first down. Give it to him again. Let the young man eat. And that's going to result in a nice gain of around seven. Give it to Steven Jackson. Big time pancake block by Zach Crockett. Nice physical end of that run by our man Steven Jackson. On third down, we find David Boston. And we got to settle for a field because we're not quite able to pick up the first down. They're going to find Tim Dwight. He's been the biggest bright spot today. And then that's saying something. That pass going to be caught. And that's Ogden who hauls it in. He had a fumble on that punt return, but he makes good on his promise to be a good player here. Tim Dwight avoids the hit stick, gets into the end zone. The charge is going to go for the onside kick. And Kelly is there for the recovery. So now the defense would hold, so we got us now Janikowski again, and the Florida State Seminole going to knock that thing home, giving us a 16-point lead. So the Chargers, they need two touchdowns, a two two-point conversion with a side of fries. They get a big home run play right there. They're inside the red zone. They throw it to Antonio Gates. Welcome to the party. So they got to go for two here. This thing is over. They're going to get the ball to LT. And we've been shutting him down all game long, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it. 26 to 16 is the final. Defense looked much improved. Um, yeah. LT is the man. We all know that. Michael Bennett, though, absolutely killed us. Now, Michael Bennett obviously has elite speed. So once he breaks a tackle, he's off to the races. But there was only a few times that LT actually broke tackles today. So we were just hovering around the ball because when he would break a tackle, we were just surrounding him with silver and black jerseys. So I'm very proud of our defense. Our offense did very, very well. Although I think Fargus is that guy. I think we're better off with Steven Jackson so far this season. I'm not saying that he is better than Fargus because we got Fargus up to 90 overall. He has 94 overall speed. Steven Jackson has it right now just 81 overall. As you see the numbers for LT, 11 carries is 15 yards. That's crazy. Might be his worst game ever. So Steven Jackson, he's that man for us. We all know who they have over here with, with those Kansas City Chiefs. And who is it? It's Priest Holmes, the Texas Longhorn. He is an absolute monster in this game. The Chiefs are beastly in this game. You see the overall, 90 overall, 93 overall offense, 88 overall defense. So, yes, we are probably not favored to win this ball game. Monty Kiffin is their new head coach, so they have a lot of Tampa aspects to their playbook, bringing that John Gruden style of play over here. They have a top 10 rushing attack, as you expect. Dante Hall from Texas. 
Texas A&M. He's looking to do havoc in the passing game and, of course, in the return game. So there goes Lawton. He's going to work his way upfield. Gets past the 20 yard line. Going to throw this strike to Jerry Porter. And that's going to give us a first down. Now, last year, we gave up a record. 373 yards rushing to Priest Holmes. Can we not do that here? So they said that this was incomplete. I challenged it just to see what's what in this game because sometimes I forget what's a catch, what's not a catch. And he does get two feet down, but it's the same foot. That left foot can come down here and then again, but that right foot will come out on the chalk as we saw in the previous clip. So, hey, it's going to be incomplete. We do miss out on a timeout, but, hey, I figure why not, you know, Figured out the game just a little bit more. We're gonna find Looker, makes the catch right there. Got David Boston underneath the coverage, makes the catch right there. And this offense looking awfully good. 22 personnel out there, gonna run the ball with Jackson, and Jackson gonna pick up a nice gain. Second down and four. He's a deep back still. Gonna follow Zach Crockett and pick up the first down by the hands of our chinny chin chin. First down and 10. Golston looking downfield and Woods steps in front of it. Woods was going to guard Zach Crockett in the flat. I figured he would keep running after I threw it, but he stopped. Well, I kind of threw it kind of early, and he was just right there. And that's going to be the end of our drive. Another red zone turnover this season. Green going to find Morton, but Morton going to go nowhere fast. We get the stop right there. And now we take back over. We're going to find Doug Jolly when we're back in Chiefs Kingdom territory. Third down and 11. Ghosting over the middle, and that pass will fall incomplete, and we get the ball right back to the Chiefs. So they're going to run the ball, Priest Holmes. Priest Holmes going to get brought down by Smith. Third down and five, play fake over the middle, going to find Eddie Kennison, and that's going to be a chain mover. Give it to Priest Holmes again. Gets away from Philip Buchanan. He's off to the races. Brought down by Lionel Martin, and that's going to be a first down. And now LJ, he's in the business of breaking tackles as well, obviously. There goes Holcomb up the gut. And he's going to pick up a first down. Get your fullbacks involved. Priest Holmes brought down by Martin. So third down and six now. Toss play to Holmes. And that Raiders defense with Namdi Asamoa. Gets in there for the stop. And the Chiefs got to settle for a field goal. And Lawton, he's going to work his way upfield for a decent kick return up to the 35-yard line. To the 30-yard line, excuse me. We're going to find David Boston. That will be a first down. Keep on getting his receivers involved. So everybody's getting involved so far. We're going to hand the ball off to Steven Jackson. Big time block right there. And we're inside the 25. And we're going to give it to Jackson one more time. We even threw traffic. And Steven Jackson putting in that work. Third down and five. Golston looking. Throws it. Caught by Porter. And we're inside the 10 now. Fresh set of down. So first and goal. Quick pass to Mr. Doug Jolly. Touchdown Raiders. And we're up 7-3. to three. Trent Green going to take a shot deep. Dante Hall hauls it in. Brought down by Nami who saved the touchdown. Toss play to Holmes. And Holmes going to find that corner. And Holmes is going to work his way upfield for a gain of nine. Give it to Holmes again. And I bit inside too far. Got to keep outside contained there. And that's one of his best runs of the game. They're going to fire it. And I don't know how I didn't get a better animation there. Like, I'm just so confused. I am going to lie to you. So, Lawton going to work his way upfield. Another good kick return for him. Golston looking downfield. Going to throw it to Porter underneath the coverage. 40, 45 in the first down for the Raiders. So, right now, Golston is dissecting this offense yet again. Going to find Crockett. And Crockett's going to pick up the first down. They put a hit on my man Blake Golston, but he's able to find his open receiver. Going to find David Boston here again. He keeps on getting open. Keep finding him. Third down and nine. Got to come through in the clutch. And we're going to get hit. And this drive is going to come to an end. But can we tie it with the field goal? The kick is up. And of course we can. But will we is the question. And we do just that. So Green sets his feet. Has time until he does it. Big time sack coming off of the edge was Frazier, our rookie cornerback. We had about 10 draft picks in this past draft, and these guys are participating as Nami bats that thing away. So 27 seconds on the clock, looking downfield for Eubanks, and I don't know how Blake Golston got that thing off with accuracy. That's beyond me. 22 seconds on the clock. We only have one timeout as we burn one right there. We find Eubanks who gets out of bounds, and we lost that other timeout via that challenge that I knew wasn't going to work out. I just wanted to see why. Anyways. We make the catch right there with Porter. Looking downfield for you, Banks. Keep leaving a linebacker on him if you want to. But you're living dangerously. I said you're living dangerously. And that's going to take us to the second half of play. So Priest Holmes, as of right now, yo, he's having a good game. 
average of 5.2 yards a carry, but he should not get over 200 yards, over 300 yards today. All right, all right. So our defense is much improved. Can we keep him locked up? Hopefully we can. Green looking downfield, gonna find Tony G, the cow product, brought down by Nami, the cow product. They go up the gut with Priest Holmes, and he's gonna work his way upfield for a first down. Trent Green takes a deep shot. And sometimes there is no defense for a perfect pass. He put that thing on a frozen rope. But there goes Jackson. Perfect blocking. And he's loose. The Oregon State Beaver is saying see you later. Touchdown, Steven Jackson. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty. Very good blocking up front. The play was executed flawlessly. And we're up by, what, what, what were we up by? Seven now is a tie. I think we're up by seven yet again. Yes, 24-17. We forced a three. Now going to give it to Steven Jackson again. We through traffic. And again, he's off to the races. Steven Jackson saying bye-bye. See you later. Alligator. Touchdown, Steven Jackson on back-to-back -back touchdown runs of 60 yards plus. That's absolutely beautiful. Here comes the Chiefs, though. We know their offense can move the football. Morton makes the catch right there. Hulk them up the gut. Get your fullbacks involved. And that's going to be a first down. Chiefs come out now. 11 personnel going to go up the gut. And it looked like we had Priest Holmes. But the homeboy is going to take it to the crib. So touchdown. And the Chiefs cut the lead down to seven. And Holmes, like anything Steven Jackson can do, I can do better, homeboy. Second down and one. We're going to give it to Steven Jackson again. And that's going to be a Raiders first down. First down and ten. Our formation. Play fake. They send a blitz. That's Nate Clement off of the edge. Gets the sack. That backs us up. Second down and long. We're going to find David Boston who gets all that back and then some. So third down and short. Going to find you, Banks, in this passing attack. I'm telling you, we can dissect anybody. We can build any type of scheme and make it work. But we fumbled the football. James Cully couldn't hang on to it. And the Chiefs recovered to end the third. So start the fourth quarter off. The Chiefs have the football. They get the ball to Priest Holmes. And Priest Holmes gets brought down by Martin. They run the ball with him again. And Holmes brought down by Holmes. Green sets his feet. Throws it. Caught by Kennison. He gets dropped before he can pick up the first down. So this will cut the lead down to four. But I would say that's a win for our defense. So let's see what our offense can do. We got Lawton walking up field, and he's going to work his way up past the 25 to around the 27-yard line. Second down and 10. Golston looking downfield, going to find Jerry Porter. And Jerry Porter stopped right around the first down marker. They're going to say he picked it up. Give it to Jackson. The running has been spectacular. We know when the bounce, we know when to hit the hole. It's been beautiful today. Third down and two going to Doug Jolly. That pass on time and on target. And we're moving the ball closer and closer to Janikowski's range, R really my range. He could hit it from around the 40-yard line, but we're talking about me here. We're going to pick up a gain of eight right there. We go backwards on this play. So third down of five, we're going to throw it on the knee guy, David Boston. First down, Raiders. Golston looking to pass it here. Going to take a shot to the end zone caught by Eubanks. A absolute laser beam. From Ghost and now it's 38 to 27. That pass gonna be caught by Kennison. Brought down by Buchanan. Green to the left side, caught by Kennison, brought down by Buchanan. Now it's gonna be second down to four. Green has it. Green throws it over the middle, broken up by Parison, who is like our fifth cornerback now. Only when we go uh what's a quarter? Quarter defense. That pass broken up by Seawood. Second down and four. Green has it. Green throws it. That pass caught by Kennison, though. And that will be a Chiefs first down. A minute on the clock. Green throws it. That pass caught by Morton. 38 to 33. They're going to go for two to make it a three-point game. They run it, and we shut it down. So now they're going to go for the onside kick. David Boston with the recovery. And now on third down, we're going to go to the air. We throw to David Boston because on our first two plays, we went backwards via the run. So their defense holds. we got to settle for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. The Chiefs have no timeouts. And they have 43 seconds to score a touchdown plus a two-point conversion. Green over the middle. Going to find Morton, who's absolutely killing this secondary today. They worked their way in the Raiders' territory. Third down and seven. Green has it. Green throws it. That pass caught by Kennison, brought down by Namdi. 12 seconds to work with. Green has it. He throws it to the end zone caught by Kennison. He beat Philip Buchanan. And now they're going to go for two. And Holmes gets into the end zone. And we're headed to overtime. 41-41. The Chiefs win the toss. Dante Hall from his own end zone. Brought down by Buchanan. 
It's going to be first down and 10 to get the ball to Holmes. And Holmes, he is going to get brought down at the, after a gain of four. Second down and six. Green, that pass dropped. And now they're looking at third down and six. Green has it. Sets up to throw. And he gets hit in his back by Kenny Holmes. And we take over. So Ghoston looking for Jay Porter. That pass is caught as we get in the Chiefs territory. Second down and 10. We're going to run the ball. Jackson going to go nowhere on second down and 10. So third down and 12 now. Ghoston off his back foot. Throws it to Porter. And should we go for it? I'm thinking let's trust our defense. We're going to pin them as deep as we can. Green throws it. That pass broken up by Buchanan. So now they're looking at third down and nine. Green has it. Throws it. And we had a man right there. Napoleon Harris couldn't stop Gonzalez from making the catch. Green going downfield. That pass caught by Kennison. Buchanan was in the area. But all he can do is make the tackle. Green throws it to the right side. Caught by Kennison who is cooking this secondary. Another reception for him. Holmes up the gut. We shut him down. Are they in field goal range? They might be. The kick is up. The kick has enough leg. The accuracy is good. And we blow a 14-point lead to lose to the Chiefs yet again. This team, the Chiefs, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, they swept us in year one. They swept us. Then in year two, we went halvesies. We won, they won. And now we start off the year by losing to them again. They have had our number in this series so far today. Steven Jackson, 196 yards. If he didn't go backwards, he went backwards to end the end the game in regulation. Then to end the overtime, he went backwards as well. He would have had over 200 yards rushing. So I do like that transaction that we made. Get rid of Warren Sapp, bring in Steven Jackson's working out so far. But we got to win these games. We will be making a change in our secondary. I don't think Philip Buchanan is the answer there. He has more speed than um, Namdi, but I don't know. It's just not working out. Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Peace, love. Hot sauce.